Uh, my name is Chris O'Flaherty, I'm the course leader for the MSC in Building Conservation and Regeneration. Um, I'm a Charter Building Surveyor by trade but retrained in the specialist field of building conservation. Um, I have had um, a lot of industry experience over 25 years. After graduating from my undergraduate degree um, I felt that I needed to explore um, sort of the area of building conservation further. The industry is under a lot of pressure at the moment. Obviously the construction industry is the industry which first reflects development and the need for development and investment and because of problems obviously with lack of investment and lack of money uh, we have serious problems in trying to um, identify construction projects. Fortunately the course, the, the Building Conservation Regeneration course, is all about using existing buildings. I was interested in working with historic buildings um, and how as designers um, you come across say problems with heritage and, and how you can sort of um, ensure that historic buildings are protected even in sort of new design schemes. The course is split into two um, strands basically. Uh, there's the building conservation and the regeneration. Now they are closely focused together. They do use the existing building stock. The building conservation um, course essentially deals with heritage assets and these are parts of our historic built environment which are protected because of their architectural and historic importance. The course focuses on a number of issues um, that you'd be faced with um, working in practice, um, particularly um, working with buildings at risk. So we focus on dealing with those buildings in a way which is sympathetic to their needs so that we maintain the values and the significance of these buildings, but doing so in a manner which allows them to be used in the future. So it's about intelligently managing change is the phrase that you use. I worked alongside um, the Gaskell's House uh, Trust in Manchester um, and was able to um, research their building um, completely, um, looking at sort of historical design and, and the form of the house and, and trying to establish um, where others hadn't quite managed to. And because people like historic buildings, like historic areas, using historic buildings is often a good way in which we can start with that because it gives a sense of identity which is immediate which can be built upon for the future. Some of the modules on the course allows you to get sort of a really good um, underpinning knowledge of, of how you'd be able to deal with those situations um, from looking at the planning system um, to sort of conservation ethics and, and philosophy uh, and then through to how you integrate with um, architects and, and other practitioners that are obviously involved with that whole process. I think what makes our course so special is that we have accreditation with professional institutions, we've got an accreditation with the RICS, we've also got accreditation with the IHBC which is the Institute of Historic Building Conservation. We have many of our graduates, our professionals working in the field in this particular area and since the course has been really running in excess of 20 years we do have a, a long held um, series of success and a track record for success over a good period of time and I don't think there are many other courses which can boast those credentials.